Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner. I am Radiant Brew and today we are in North Port Alaska. There's a couple tasks available right here near the garage. One is bags on the ice. There's some concrete bags out here just along the trail that we have to get back to this house. Uh, one's along this road where we left the Fleet Star after repairing the pipe, uh, that initial contract. And then the other ones are down here on this little bit of ice. So I think we're going to grab those, head over here, hit that possibly jump down here drag those cargo containers out and then go grab the last two bags of cement and head back that is the plan we'll see how we do on fuel um but we're gonna try to get a couple tasks done here today start just kind of cleaning up the area of the map here we do have chains on this truck so this muddy area, yeah, I don't know if the mud's really compromised. Because this truck doesn't have mud tires. So, Truck seems to be chugging along here okay. Kind of watching because it is on a bit of a bit of a slope. Oh, they're over here on the left. It's like we've got to be coming up on them. Yep, we are. Now the crane usually has a pretty good range, so I'm actually gonna try it out right now if we can just get the center of those within the green circle we can actually attach oh, it's not gonna let us okay that is as far as that'll reach so let's restore you going to reposition a little bit. Oh yes, now I remember. When you see the the object you're trying to grab, do that where they kind of like settle into the into the environment. That means that they're within grabbing range. That's a good indicator without actually going to grain.
luckily these are two slot crates. They do fit on this flatbed. I thought maybe I'd just be able to drag them out, but uh, looks like we'll actually be able to strap one on here. And then cheese the other one. Let's do this. stuck on the other one but we're actually going to just try to haul it out about like so let's see how well this works um, let's pick those up So that back one is attached to our crane still. So our winch is not an option, but if we can just creep on out of here with it, get to the main road, we should be okay. Looks like, uh oh, no, 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 no. We did save ourselves with the winch. That's incredible. grab it here. better. Alright. Pick those back up. I think these go to the service hub right there, but I'm going to double check that. After the containers in the river. Oh, no, they go to the port. Oh, drat. <laughs> so we know that that bridge is out down there. So I'm actually just going to leave these next to the road right here. Not in the road, next to the road, please. Thank you. Got those out, which is great. Now we're gonna go try to grab the other two bags of cement, get back them back to the house uh, to deliver those containers. We're gonna have to repair the bridge up ahead, which needs metal beams, which we do not have closely available over here. So we're gonna have to come up with another plan for getting those beams. That'll be happening soon because that does need to happen. Oh, there are our concrete bags. Let's 
good thing this ice is solid. Did it. The bags on ice have been delivered. So that is one task down, one task partly done. I was really hoping that we could bring those just to the service hub. But we have to take them to the port, which we need the metal beams to fix the metal metal bridge. We have not been down this area yet. Looks like there are metal beams here. Yes, there are. So we could possibly grab them. Oh, the Stonefall also needs beams. I might consider bringing a truck with a larger trailer down here because those beams are too, I believe, too um, long. Two slots long, so it'd be four slots. And go here to the bridge, which we would have an option of going this route around. So possibly pack three, possibly fix that, and then back it up. Come on around, fix the bridge via this route. And that route wasn't too bad. I think a, a bigger truck with a raised suspension wouldn't have any issues getting there. We'd have to just get from the garage to the storage zone. So I might, uh, I might go ahead and look into that. I don't think we need this truck over here. I might might take it that direction let's go ahead and try to get over towards the fuel station then we'll look at grabbing a tra trailer question is do we go for the pay star or the western star 
I'm leaning towards the Paystar. It does drink the fuel, though. Man, it really puts it down. But that bridge is going to be pretty important to doing uh, several missions and tasks that are coming up, and so we do need to get it repaired. the Royal needs a few things before it's really ready to head out. Um, several upgrades that are available here in Alaska. We need to do some more exploring to find, such as raised suspensions, things of that nature. Here's a logging station. They needed boards, which we can get nearby, so we might be able to do that one here soon, but let's pop into the garage, decide which truck we're going to take out. Let's just give this a look. Yeah, we need the Ray suspension, which is somewhere available here, so we're going to wait to take this truck out. Let's decide which truck. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we'll take the twin steer. It we did just get an engine upgrade for it. There's a raised suspension also available for it here, but it's already pretty tall. I feel like some of those drifts might catch it in the underbelly down there though. That would be painful. Painful, big old mess. There are chain tires available for this truck as well. Not the 63 inches. Man, those things are huge. That would be fantastic. Let's hang on to it for now. Let's let's see about the Paystar. Only the one option. Oh, it's not raised either, but it's pretty tall even without a raised suspension, which is available here in Alaska. We're going to go ahead and give it the advanced medium winch. We need to check its tires. Off-road mud and chains. So we're going to go with the OHD chains instead of these. They set a little wider. Didn't realize that we had had mud tires come up for it and we never even switched to those. They don't have any duels in the muds though. But I think that should do it. Uh, we got the low saddle. We're gonna grab a trailer. I think this is trailer store right here. We need to go get some metal beams. It might take us a bit to get over there, but that'll just be a head start on the next one. So I'm thinking we head down the road here a little ways, jump up north there to the fuel station. Let's just take a look at it. So we're gonna head down here, take a right, through this little snow drifted area rather than going across the ice and up that little bit of dirt road. So we'll turn right there, left here, 
possibly grab some fuel since we'll probably be out by the time we get there. Uh, head over to the factory, grab those, and then come back this way. And then we'll have to swing around to the middle bridge at that point. So. A lot of the paved roads are really icy, so if you're using, if you're doing a lot of paved road driving in Alaska, you're gonna want the chains, it seems like. If you're not doing much paved road driving, the mud tires are probably superior. So for these longer haul trucks, it might, it might just kind of take teams of trucks to do these jobs trucks that are more more set up for the ice and going longer distances on the highways then you might want to have a kind of a gopher truck almost for bringing stuff out of the out of the muddy snowy areas to the bigger trucks and that might be our plan going forward i have no idea what we just hit but that did too much damage for whatever it was all right let's get Not bad, only burned about nine, ten gallons or so to get to this point. Go ahead and refuel. Interesting. Cool. Is there a car down there? I think there's an upgrade. We do have the Fleet Star right back there. We might be able to just run down and grab that.
Is this a trailer store? Hmm. No, nope, that was a mission that we never grabbed earlier. So, they want us to check some power lines. We just have to drive to those areas. Okie dokie. Scout vehicle job it is. Possibly Fleet Star, our little goat climber. We're gonna load up on. Uh, oh man, that large pipe is tempting. But we're taking the metal beans, or what we need. But we're getting close to the end here, and I'm pretty sure we saw what is possibly an upgrade. And I really want to go get it. So we're just going to leave this truck here for now. We're going to jump back into the Fleet Star, which was a nearby. And run over there to it. grab this mission here while, while I'm going. Except. Here's the car. I knew it. GB8 valve 2600 TTA is. Oh, it's for these medium off road trucks, not for the truck we're actually driving, but the International HX 520 and the CT681 CAT are on that list, as long, along with that Royal BM17, which we recently got here. So. That is exciting to see. Can we drive out of here up to the right? We do need to get this truck. Oh, that is the trail right there. Holy cow. Oh. We're just gonna get it parked out of the water for now. But that is where we're going to be leaving it here in Alaska. Until next time, peace.